It's interesting because I can't remember when it disappeared. I, I, like yourself, Andrew, I, I can remember that treat of staying up a bit later than maybe you should have done. And suddenly the national anthem, and it was a bit of an event. It felt like that as a kid. And then at some point it went. It, I guess the 24-hour nature of the BBC and others saw to its, uh, its demise. Well, I can explain this. So what happened? It was in, uh, believe it or not, 1997, the year of... Uh, Tony Blair had just been elected. It was Call Britannia. Do you remember all of that stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, in 97. Yeah. And this was, was a cracking year, cracking year for the Conservatives, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a cracking year for the Labour Party and Tony Blair. But there was some sort of, I think that was the start of the remnants or the, the beginning, I think, of the woke type attitudes yeah. where these things are out of date and they're all old hat and we don't do them anymore. And I think the BBC decided to dump it and they used the excuse of the fact that it's now 24-hour channel which it's not so bbc one do actually stop programming at a certain time yep. and they switch to news 24 so what i'm saying is that's no excuse for dumping the national anthem what they should do is restore it at the point just before they switch to news 24 so we can still have it yep. it shouldn't be an excuse to get rid of the national anthem and never play it. Let's bring in Jonathan Liss, political commentator. Jonathan, nice to have you on with us again. Um, would you be upstanding and proud to hear the national anthem played at the end of uh, the BBC's conventional output at the end of the day? I just think the whole conversation is such an irrelevance. Is this really the kind of discourse that we're now bringing into the culture wars? The BBC already plays the national anthem at uh, one o'clock every single morning on Radio 4, if anyone wants to listen to it. Are they still uh, going? They play, I don't, if the BBC wants to play the national anthem before it goes to News 24, that's a matter of the BBC. It doesn't mean that we are any less patriotic, that people don't support the Queen. It doesn't mean um, that it's uh, things have gone woke. It just means that things have evolved in a certain way uh, as the BBC has evolved over its 100-year history. There it is, Andrew. It's just kind of become a bit irrelevant. So well, what's basically being said here is that it evolves so that we abolish it when it used to be the tradition. I don't get that. And I think it is a complete excuse to say that because it's 24 hours, that means you don't play it anymore. I think it's very sad that young people grow up and they never hear the national anthem. They don't get to learn the words. They don't understand the importance of it. There are people who fought and died for our country's freedom and democracy. We have an incredible proud nation with an amazing history of spreading human rights, freedom and democracy around the world. And yet our British Broadcasting Corporation on their main channel can't spend 30 seconds just once a day playing the national anthem. Do you know ITV used to do the same? They used to actually show pictures of the royal family and play the national anthem too. Uh, yes, used to have it in cinemas. This is a gradual, not an evolution, this is a gradual diminishing uh, all the uh, patriotic symbols. I mean, the same people that don't want the national anthem, I have to say, Ian, exactly the same people that say, don't fly the flag. You know, that's a bit old fashioned now. You know, only fly it on certain days. Thank goodness that attitude has been demolished. We do see the flag flying much more than we used to. Same with the national anthem. And what's wrong with it being sung in schools? Why can't a school assembly once a week have the uh, children singing the national anthem and learning the importance okay. of taking pride in their country. Uh, jo Jonathan, I mean, put like that, it sounds quite reasonable. It is our national anthem. If, it, if the BBC can't play it, then who can? You've already said that Radio 4 give it a go each day. So why not on the BBC? Surely that's the perfect setting for the national anthem. Well, as I've already said, um, I if the BBC wanted to play the national anthem before it went on to News 24, that is a matter for the BBC. Well, I suppose the point is, why do we need to have this conversation? I suppose the broader point is, what I would say to someone like Andrew, it seems strange that um, people who talk about patriotism the whole time seem to have such a fragile sense of pride in their country that it becomes invested purely in symbols. I think that if you're really proud about Britain, you'd want to be talking about Britain's actual achievements. You'd be talking about things that actually matter to ordinary well, people. You can do both, can't you? Not can, exactly. exactly. Well, why you can't can do you? all these things. It's not one or the other. You can do them all. But but but, but the, the, these people never seem to talk about the things that actually mean things to people in Britain, about their everyday experiences of life in Britain. It's always about the anthem, about flags. And there are two separate issues here about flying the, you know, about 
the you know if you played the national anthem on the BBC at the end of the day, you wouldn't know what the words were because it's never used with words with lyrics in that. So that's the, so teaching it in schools is a completely separate issue. And again, I'd want to know if you were going to be doing that in schools, and would you be mandating it, or would you be saying it's a matter of the schools themselves? And if it's a matter for this, if it's about mandating it, how patriotic is that to force people to be patriotic? Surely it's a matter of personal choice. Andrew, first of all, uh, you could effectively demolish all of our symbols and traditions and conventions and say well let's just talk about achievements rather than having any kind of symbolism is that what we're suggesting if we have a national anthem surely it should be played surely people should hear it sometimes rather than it never being played or only when someone dies or when we see the queen's speech on christmas day i don't think that it's right that we should just discard these things and we talk about it should be the bbc that decides the BBC is a taxpayer-funded organisation. It is the state broadcaster. BBC One is the main channel of the United Kingdom, BBC One. If BBC One, the British Broadcasting Corporation, cannot play the national anthem for 30 seconds once a day, then I think that's deeply sad. And by the way, they scrapped it without any consultation, without asking do people want it to be scrapped. This was decided by the BBC without anyone having any say over it. But unfortunately, this does mean we have discussions about these. Uh, you say you don't want a discussion about it. We're only having this discussion because they unilaterally got rid of it and they've completely refused to consider restoring it despite this being requested of them over and over again. And Jonathan, this is, the, this is the Jubilee year, and this is the year to do it. Okay, so it's a commemorative year, Jonathan. Final question to you, Jonathan. Uh, I mean, if, if if you had a say in it, would you vote to have the national anthem back in? I really don't have an opinion on it, to tell you the truth. I have, I have no, you know, the, the national anthem, uh, some people love it, some people hate it. Personally, I would want a national anthem uh, which was more inclusive, that said something about our actual country rather than one individual. Mm. But that's a separate issue. Um, if the BBC wants to do it, it's a matter of the BBC. I just don't think okay. that we need to have a national conversation about it. And Andrew, you've raised it in Parliament. Where does this go now? Can, can somebody make the Nadine Doris, can she make the BBC play it? Well, Nadine Doris was very enthusiastic. She said it was a fantastic idea that I put forward. Uh, I have huge support from members of parliament, not just the conservative side, but people from other political parties as well. I just think the BBC should just concede that this is a nice thing to do for the Queen's Jubilee. The 6th of February is the day the Jubilee year starts. Uh, we have the most amazing head of state, 80, uh, 70 years on the throne. Uh, what a wonderful head of state we have, the longest serving uh, head of state of any country on the planet. For goodness sake, let's play our national anthem on the 6th of February and let's play it from then onwards. If okay. we do that, I think that most people will be very proud to hear the anthem okay. of their country. So let's just do it and let's dump the PC woke stuff. Let's play our national anthem, be proud of our country.